you fear us. Knight Commander Meredith uses that fear to take control of your city. She opposes every effort to replace Viscount Dumar. And you have seen the chaos of her reign. Will you allow it? Return to your homes. This farce is over. Wait! Perhaps there are some who might disagree with you, Knight Commander. Do not hide behind the champion. She has no role in this. It would be better if you both calm down, before this gets violent. I should remain calm, while a mage provokes an uprising. I think not. I think the champion's views would be appreciated, or do you fear what she has to say? I fear nothing. My only interest here is in keeping order and protecting the innocent. The first enchanter accused you of trying to take control of the city. The city? I am trying to keep order until there is a ruler capable of succeeding where Dumar failed. And if not? Will the Templars rule Kirkwall forever? We will not stand idle while the city burns around us. The Templar Order exists to guard the Chantry and Circle. I suggest you let the nobility rule the city. I do not need you or anyone to tell me what my duty is, Mage. The First Enchanter is right. You should not be ruling Kirkwall. And yet I shall continue until such a time as the city is safe. Do you see? She is incapable of reason. Your measures have become more extreme over the last three years. And you could do better? How well did you guard your own mother? Did she not die at a blood mage's hands? Why don't you just stab me in the back while you're at it? Cold corpses speak louder than abstract freedoms, do they not? As long as that's true. Kirkwall needs its Templars more than it needs a new ruler. And when will that end? When will you stop seeing evil in every corner? When it's no longer there. No matter what, Knight Commander. He has a point. Face the truth, Knight Commander. You are done. That is for me to decide. No one else. My, my. Such a terrible commotion. This mage incites rebellion, Your Grace. I am dealing with the matter. Ah, Orsino. So frustrated. Do you think this is truly wise? I... No, Your Grace. Of course not. Young men, would you show the first enchanter back to the circle? Gently, if you please. Your grace. He should be clapped in irons. Made an example of. That's enough, Meredith. This demeans us all. Surely you can see that. Go back to the gallows and calm down. Like a good girl. You have my thanks for stepping in, champion. If you had not... Short of putting those two in cells, I doubt anything will keep them from each other. Sadly true. Gentle people of Kirkwall, return to your homes, I implore you. This will not be solved today. And now I must attend to the gallows. They will see reason if the Maker wills it. Thank you again. Champion.
All quiet around here, Captain. Good. Many Canari fell in Kirkwall when we departed. I am sent to gather their swords. If you find a Canari sword, return it to me. I'll keep an eye out. You will find me here. You know you still owe me five sovereigns. I'm good for it. So you think you can win the coin from Isabella? <laughs> good luck with that. Ah, the champion of Kirkwall. Your reputation precedes you. Forgive me. I should introduce myself properly. My name is Nancio Caldera Lanos. I am a noble from the beautiful country of Antiva. Is there something I can help you with? I've come to you in search of aid. An elven assassin I have been chasing is loose in the area. Unfortunately, he's hidden himself among the local Dalish, no doubt playing on their shared heritage. He's a master manipulator, who will endanger even his own kind to ensure his survival. You don't seem the type to hunt assassins. Why are you after him? At first, it was merely a duty to Antiva. But after losing so many good men to him, it became personal. He's nothing but a murderer, a thief, and a liar. Your assassin is no fool. I doubt the Dalish would hand a fellow elf over to you, murderer or no. Ah, so you see my problem. Where that elf goes, death follows. He must be captured quickly. I've heard of your dealings with the Dalish. I was hoping you could go where my men could not. Find out where the assassin is hiding, and apprehend him. I'll see what I can do. One of the Dalish, a woman named Variel, is a friend of his. I suggest speaking with her first. We won't be here when you get back. We got a campsite outside the city. Look for us there. I shouldn't have worn these shoes. Captain? This is the heart of Catastrophe has struck, partner. We are ruined! Ruined! Don't panic. Tell me what happened. A guard came back from the boon pit, half-wrecked, with a dozen mangled bodies. The horse pulling the cart was the only survivor, and it does not speak. Town full of rotten mages, and not one can get answers from a horse. I'll see what's going on. Until then, try to stay calm. I knew I could depend on you. Just like old times, partner. I'm thinking of switching to romances. Nothing? Not even a foreboding frown? Welcome back, my friend. My store has never been better stocked thanks to you. Although I have nothing else to ask you to find, you're quite welcome to bring back any rare specimens you may come across. I'd be more than happy to craft something just for you. It's the least I can do for the champion of Kirkwall.
Come on, Daisy. You've been holed up in here for days. If you don't get some sunshine, you'll wilt. I'm not a plant, Beric. I'm fine. Just take a walk around the low town market. Get some air, and I'll stop bothering you. I... know you mean well, but I have too much to do right now. I'll let you talk some sense into her, Hawk. Beric is... very sweet. Frequently infuriating and a terrible busybody, but sweet. Were you looking for me? Nothing's wrong, is it? Nothing's the matter. I thought I'd see how you were doing. And I'm being a poor host, as usual. In the market the other day, out of the corner of my eye, I thought I saw Tamlin. I blinked, and he was gone. I don't know what it meant. Maybe nothing. Maybe I'm going mad. I miss them all. Even the Keeper. I'm sure the Keeper would like to see you again. I'm sure she would. She loves to lecture. I bet her new first appreciates that. I wish I could have seen it. It doesn't matter. I'm here now. Maybe Varric was right. Shall we go out for a bit? I could use some sunshine. If you think that was bad, I should tell you about the Black Marsh. <laughs> See, when you say things like that, Blondie, it just makes me glad I didn't know you sooner. Who goes to a place named Black Marsh on purpose? Now, they called it Beer Marsh. No, still doesn't work. You've got a point. The marsh part does cancel out anything else. Flower Marsh, Kitten Marsh. No, no good. Ah, you've got company. I'll see you later. Hawk, what can I do for you? What was Anders here for? Only place in Kirkwall he can get a decent drink. Blondie comes by here and I put him on my tab. He's got some stories about his days in Ferelden that sound implausible, even to me. He's not bad for a mage. Crazy, but that's most everyone in this city. I'm not here on business. Just dropping by. Drinking is business, champion. You know that. <laughs> so, what's the word in Lowtown, Varric? Nothing you don't know already. The Viscount's departure, a vacuum of power, troubles brewing. Get rid of one thread and another appears. I'm starting to think this city's in love with Crisis. Hope you're ready for it, my friend. I'm keeping Bianca close. Star Cavens too. How have you been? You don't have to keep checking up on me. I'm fine. Why do you keep coming here? You're better than this. I'm comfortable here, all right? <sighs> Remember what you said after the mess with the Kunari. I'm proud of you for doing the right thing. It may have been the right thing, but it was also the dumb thing. The relic was mine. I should have kept running. I couldn't have saved Kirkwall without you. Bullshit. You could have stormed the keep and slaughtered all those canari if you had to. You and Aveline. I mean, look at her. She's a woman-shaped battering ram. The fact is, you and I have nothing in common anymore. You're a champion, and I'm just a lying, thieving snake. Whatever you think you are, I still care about you. It must have been hard to give up the relic, and I appreciate it. Whatever comes, you have my support. Well, perhaps it's time to stop hiding. And I do miss the trouble we used to get into. 
Tell you what, I'll be here if you need me. Outsiders think they can shut just You think I don't know the city guard is just another arm of the Templars? That is completely unfair. If they show up here, I'll know who to blame. That's all I'm saying. I'm sorry. I didn't mean for you to see that. I just can't be too careful. Now that the Knight Commander has basically appointed herself Viscount. Between ruling the city and torturing mages, it's a wonder she has time to keep that sword so shiny. She has nearly crushed the flame of hope for mages here. The mage underground is all but destroyed, and those left have turned to blood magic as their only option, which Meredith knows will prevent any chance of the public taking their side. They're still us. I don't know how you continue to believe in me. How can people be so blind? The blight was stopped only with the aid of two mages. One an apostate, but it makes no difference. The Chantry set us on this path long ago. It would take something truly catastrophic to change people's thinking now. so successful good luck getting in you're not that successful back to the barracks i never tire of it guardsmen duties for the week will be low town canvas five on three off city perimeter by twos clear by second watch training recruits full metal by week's end anything else captain no thank you Donicus, a good man. 
I'm sorry, was there something you wanted? You never said how your three weeks in Orlais went. You're right. I didn't. Ooh, shivery. Anything else? Your men could give the Templars a run for their sovereigns. They've had to. As long as there's no Viscount, the Order thinks they can bark at any man in uniform. I won't have it. The people of Kirkwall need to see themselves in their guard. Lose that connection, we're just targets. Kirkwall seems to have rallied around you. I try to keep order, and people appreciate that. Everything else is going insane. A few complaints here and there, but for the most part, I think everyone's just glad the guard has been stable for a few years. Just checking in? Need anything? Yes, there's something. Come back soon. I'll get into it then. I'll see you later. Of course, Hawk. Hello again, champion. Are you certain it's her? An elf matching your description on the ship you named. And alone, as far as I could tell. I need to know if it's a trap. I did as you asked, Fenris. Now it's up to you. You talk to him, Hawk. I've had my fill for today. Then heed is fast of us. Maybe I can help, Fenris. <sighs> it's my sister. I didn't tell you, but I followed up on Hadriana's information. Everything she said was true. I had to keep it quiet, but I eventually contacted Verania and sent her coin enough to come meet me. And now she's here. She was in Carinus after all. My sister left Magister Araman's service, and I found her in Minrathus. That made things more difficult. But according to the men I paid, it's just as Hadriana said. She's not a slave. She's a tailor, in fact. Getting a letter to her was difficult, and she didn't believe me at first. But she's finally come. You're worried Daenerys knows? The more it seems he doesn't know, the more certain I become he does. Come with me, Hawk. I need you there when I meet her. Where is she? If we go to the Hanged Man during the day, she'll be there, for the next week at least. It would mean a lot to me. That's all I ask. He wasn't shopping for himself. You're lucky to have a man who wants to please you. But... Do you never intend to give a public answer, Your Grace? What have I been asked? About the mages. You could calm this fire if you stepped forward. The Chantry's teachings are clear. Those who turn against them would not listen more to me than to Andraste. Then you do favor the Templars, Your Grace. I favor peace, which is not the goal of either side, I'm afraid. That is more apparent every day. I did not expect things to deteriorate so fast. I thought after the Canari, no one would wish for more violence. It has drawn more attention than I would like. Sebastian, if I can ask... Anything, Your Grace. And the Champion, too, if you will. I am your humble servant. You honor me. 
The Divine is concerned about the situation here. She does not want to see the Free Marches become another Imperium. She has sent an agent to assess the danger. Meet with her, please. Tell her drastic measures won't be required. I don't want to see the Divine's armies march against Kirkwall. Could we keep the Exalted marching to a minimum? I keep all my stuff in Kirkwall. Surely the Divine wouldn't treat the whole city as enemies. She is concerned. It is never wise to draw the concern of the powerful. She is the voice of Andraste. She cannot turn the might of the Chantry against the innocent due to proximity. Were no innocents harmed in the Exalted Marches? She will do her best, Sebastian. But she must act first to protect the Faith. This cannot wait. Thank you. We cannot allow this ridiculous mage rebellion to turn into holy war. The agent, Sister Nightingale, will be waiting in the Viscount's throne room tonight. She wishes to remain unseen. The room has been sealed since the Canary incident. It may be difficult to get in without attracting attention. Viscount's throne room has been sealed off since his death. A strange place for a holy sister to be. So, even the Divine fears us now. She should. Kill the spies!
The Resolutionists. I might have known they would be part of this. Are you... Sister Nightingale? I am. Or you may call me Liliana. The Divine sent me to investigate the possibility of a rebellion here in Kirkwall. I have some experience in unconventional situations. The Leliana? Who accompanied the hero of Ferelden to slay the Archdemon? Ah. I see it will be harder to remain anonymous so near the Ferelden border. Yes. I knew the hero of Ferelden. Perhaps you have heard the songs I wrote of our time together. But that was many years ago. I am working for the Divine now, in Orlais. I had not thought to return to this part of Thedas. Who are the Resolutionists? An offshoot of a fraternity within the Circle of Magi. Supported by the Magisters. There's no proof of that. I bet a lot of mages think they'd enjoy Tevinter's freedoms, and completely forget that few ever achieve the power to enjoy them. There have always been factions that support freedom from the Chantry, and the abolition of the Circle. We have... tolerated them. But the Resolutionists have become violent. They are likely behind the unrest here. I appreciate you stepping in back there. Of course. They mistook you for me, so they must know I am in Kirkwall. The Divine has long suspected that Kirkwall's problems were spurred by an outside group. This attack proves she is right. Are you saying you set this whole thing up? I let word slip that an agent of the Divine was coming to investigate the mage troubles. It is how they chose to react which condemns them. Will the Divine send soldiers? Divine Justinia takes the situation here very seriously. She believes it is the worst threat to Thedas since the Cunara invaded. A handful of apostates. How can that possibly... <laughs> the whole world is watching Kirkwall. If it falls to magic, none of us are safe. Tell Elthina to leave. There is refuge for her at the Grand Cathedral in Orlais. She will not be safe here. These mages are out of control. Hello again, chap. is only a piece of the puzzle. Only the Maker can see the greater picture. The guilty prosper, the innocents die. And then they are brought to the side of the Maker. Senators of the past. It's there. Perhaps it was witnessing that. Hmm. Do you know that in Tevinter, the Chantry receives a tithe for each slave sold? I've heard rumors about Starkhaven, you know. They say you eat the dead up there and murder strangers in the street. Why do I suspect that when you say you've heard... Sister Nightingale says you must leave Kirkwall. What? You were right. The Divine will be taking action against Kirkwall, though the Sister didn't say what. You must take the holy relics from the Chantry and leave for safety. Sebastian, I am surprised at you. Andraste would not thank me for saving a few dusty finger bones and my own skin at the cost of people's lives. You do no one any good if you're dead. When I became Grand Cleric, I took a vow to the people of Kirkwall and the Free Marches. 
I will not leave my flock. Would you let yourself die? There is no greater devotion than to lay one's life at the Maker's feet. There is no better death than to take the blow for another. Sister Nightingale took a great risk to warn you. Don't be rash. Please, Your Grace. Sister Nightingale thinks there will be war. Then, I must make peace. Settle yourself, Sebastian. I'm in no personal danger. I am Grand Cleric. Who would dare attack me? If you will not shield yourself, then I will be your shield. You will come through this safely by the Maker's name. I swear it. If Althina won't leave Kirkwall, neither will I. I can't abandon her when the Divine's own agent warned her away. The Grand Cleric is lucky to have your loyalty. She'd be luckier were I willing to hit her over the head and carry her away. This isn't her battle. But if these Maleficarum rebel against the Knight Commander, Elthina will put herself between them and be torn apart. I must try to make her see reason. This cannot end well. Hawk should do it. Kirkwall needs a Viscount. Have you asked her if she even wants that? I watched my appearance in Starkhaven. When times are good, the city rules itself. Years could pass and no one would notice who's prince. But when there's famine, when there's war, people look to their leaders. Who does Kirkwall have beyond Hawk? This is probably a conversation for the two of you to have. You want me to be Viscount? Andraste said the Maker is king in the heavens, but it is the kings of Thedas who must recreate his worldly glory. I keep thinking about that. Who better serves the Maker? A brother of the faith, or a prince who can sway a whole city? Every person does the Maker's work in their own way. Elthina is risking her life by not deserting her flock. Could I do the same? It's been 15 years since I lived in Starkhaven. The people there are only a memory to me. Kirkwall, the Chantry, that's real. That's where I belong. You're a man of faith, Sebastian. You would have hated politics. <laughs> You're probably right. Bootlicking nobles and bickering farmers, I'd have sent the whole lot to do penance. But you're meant for other things. I will always be your friend. Greetings, champ. It really is, you. Verania? I... I remember you. We played in our master's courtyard while mother worked. You called me... Leto. That's your name. What's wrong? Why are you so... Fenris, we have to get out of here! Ah, my little Fenris. Predictable as always. I'm sorry it came to this, Leto. You led him here. Now, now, Fenris. Don't blame your sister. She did what any good Imperial citizen should. I never wanted these filthy markings, Daenerys. But I won't let you kill me to get them. <laughs> How little you know, my pet. And this is your new mistress, then. The champion of Kirkwall. Quite lovely. Fenris doesn't belong to anyone. 
Do I detect a note of jealousy? <laughs> it's not surprising. The lad is rather skilled, isn't he? Shut your mouth, Denarius. <sighs> the word is master. <laughs> My master! I had no choice, Leto. Stop calling me that. He was going to make me his apprentice. I would have been a magister. You sold out your own brother to become a magister. You have no idea what we went through. What I've had to do since mother died. This was my only chance. And now you have no chance at all. Please, don't do this. Please, tell him to stop. This can't be stopped now. I would have given you everything. Oh! <gasps> I thought discovering my past would bring a sense of belonging, but I was wrong. Magic has tainted that too. There is nothing for me to reclaim. I am alone. You have friends. Yes, a mage is my only friend. Hey now, you could do worse. I feel unclean, like this magic is not only etched into my skin, that has also stained my soul. And now this. Let's go. I need to get out of here. We want to pluck them. You know, you could go anywhere you like now. I'm aware of that. Oh, you could become a raider. You could join my crew. The crew of your non existent ship? Well, with that attitude, you're never going anywhere, are you? She doesn't understand. 
Yes, I am free. Denarius is dead. Yet, it doesn't feel like it should. You thought killing him would solve everything, but it doesn't. I suppose not. I thought if I didn't need to run and fight to stay alive, I would finally be able to live as a free man does. But how is that? Whatever past I had died with my sister. I have nothing now. Not even an enemy. Maybe that just means there's nothing holding you back. Hmm. An interesting thought. It's just... difficult to overlook the stain that magic has left on my life. If I seem bitter, it's not without cause. Perhaps it is time to move forward. I just don't know where that leads. Do you? That's the point, isn't it? You can do anything you like. The future of a slave is never uncertain. But I am no longer a slave. Perhaps it is time I remember that. Thank you, Hawk. I would never have thought to call a mage my friend. Yet here you are. Wherever the future leads, I hope it is at your side. what I like. The assembly votes on it. It votes, and bam, you're a living god. You should have... I'm going to be trying something, and I thought you'd want to be part of it. We've both been wrong. What I did with justice was unnatural. It should never have happened. Is there some way to undo it? I've spent the past three years researching the methods of Tevinta Magisters. They're the only ones who have ever sought to reverse spirit possession, not just behead the victims. I believe I have a formula for a potion that can separate justice and me, without killing either. Is it dangerous? There are always dangers with magic. But I believe this will be worth the cost. That was going to be my next question. I knew you'd stand behind me in this. Even if... What? Nothing. I've gathered most of what I need, but there are some... outlandish ingredients I was hoping you'd help me collect. A powder the Tevinters call Celepetre, and a small amount of Drakestone. What is Drakestone? The Tevinters used to mine it for their apothecaries. There should still be deposits in the bone pit. Where would we find Celepetre? It's a crystal that forms from concentrated manure and urine. Ew. We can't just buy it somewhere. It's not used by mages here. There's no reason for any merchant to stock it. I suggest we search the sewers. There's an entrance not far from here in Darktown. Is it just a potion? Is there anything more to this ritual? No, no ritual. Just mix the ingredients up and... Boom. Justice and I are free. And we can take our rightful place among free mages. I assure you, we'll find them. I could not have begun to do this without your support.
Could I suggest that we never come here again? We can enter the sewers from here to look for the cellar Petre. Are you ready? Let's go. Hold your nose. We'll have to get pretty close for me to tell what we're looking at. Watch your step. Slave driver. This is it. The cellar Petre should have formed right under here. Oh, I don't want to touch that. Let's see if we can find a deposits. Let's see if we can find a few more deposits. See if we can find a few more deposits. Tread lightly around here. Are you happy now? That should be plenty. Thank the Maker.
don't like dark town? This is it. We still need the Drake Stone from the Bone Pit. Are you ready to go in? Ready as I'll ever be. We'll have to look for Drake stone deposits along the sides. Stone deposit. I need the scraping from the deepest part. There should be more further in. There should be more further in. There should be more further in. Now that's just rude. What are they trying to do? Ruin my boots. It's... There should be more further in. That should be enough.
Thank you. I wouldn't have asked just anyone to venture in there for me. There is one more thing. But we must discuss it privately. Can I speak to Anders? You can stop yelling. It's always me. There is one more thing I would ask of you, Hawk. And I can't tell you why. I must get inside the Chantry, without being seen. Will you talk to the Grand Cleric for me? Distract her long enough for me to do what must be done. I won't desert you now. Your loyalty is more than I deserve. I promise, whatever happens, it's on my head. It will not come back on you. Go to the Chantry. Talk to the Grand Cleric. I will join you when I'm done. Break some in. I'll find you as soon as I'm done. Thank you. And for all this, the life of a pirate's going to be a bit dull, isn't it? I know. I'll have to steal myself another Canary relic. The scary. Maker's Blessing Champion. Have you come to pray? Have you thought about which side you'll take? between the mages and Templars. It's no secret that you count apostates among your friends, Champion. You have done much to fan the flames of rebellion here. We must give Meredith and Orsino time to work out their differences. No good can come of showing favor to one side. Couldn't you solve this problem if you just spoke out? How would that help? Both sides make good points. Both have flaws. For a thousand years, the Chantry has had to find the balance between them. That hasn't changed here. The Maker created mages. Why doesn't he protect them? I feel for the mages, I do. I would not wish to be locked in the gallows. But I cannot take sides. We are all the Maker's creatures, but magic allows abuses beyond the scope of mortals. I only hope I can balance the needs of everyone. For if it comes to war, it is the people of this city who will lose. There you are. I've been looking for you all over. Your Grace? Your soul is troubled, child. I hope you found a balm for it here. I wanted you to have this. What's that? A pillow? Hand embroidered by my mother. The only thing of hers they let me keep when I went to the Circle. Why in the name of Andraste would you give that to me? You've been a good friend, Varric. Uh-uh. You keep your pillow, Blondie. And may you have many more dreams of killing Templars on it. Hawk. I didn't expect you here, but let me take this time to tell you how much I respect you. 
You've stood by me when I gave you every reason to turn away. Just remember, whatever happens, I wanted you to know that. Why are you talking like this? He'll still be here, you know. Justice. Long after you and I are gone. It doesn't mean the same thing to a spirit. He'll just go back to the Fade. You've been a good friend. No, I haven't. And I'm sorry. I was hoping we'd find a better way, but... Justice and vengeance are too intertwined. I can't tell one from the other. You have been a better friend than I ever thought to have. Is everything all right? Guess what? Castillon's in town, and I'm not waiting around for him to stick a knife in my vitals. We're going to get him before he gets me. That rule has served me well. Unfortunately, Castillon's holed up somewhere in Kirkwall. I haven't been able to find him. I do know where Velasco is, however. That's his right hand. We just have to make him tell us where Castillon is. Somehow. So you're saying you don't have a plan? I have something of a plan. Step one, we go to Velasco. Step two, something exciting happens. Step three, profit. Well, do you have a better idea? Castillon wants you. Why not let Velasco bring you to him? And... You follow me. Ooh, that's clever. I was going to suggest challenging Velasco to a riddle game and making Where's Your Boss one of the riddles. This is so much better. I'm ready whenever you are. Velasco's been spending his nights at the brothel, enjoying its many splendors. That's where we'll find him. Easy boy. What is it? All right, let's see. Please don't open the door. You've caught a burglar. Good boy. My legs are cramping. Please just let me go. You expect me to just let you walk out of here? Please, sirrah. I was seduced by a crime at a very young age. But your guard monster has scared me towards a path of honest work. It's the dungeons for you. Go fetch a watchman, boy. Go in to fetch the watch. Dogs aren't that smart. Right? Smarter than you, anyway. Strange. I always thought I'd wind up arresting you someday. Oh. 
I heard about the business in the square. Champion of Kirkwall seems in. Nice to see this place fixed up again. It keeps the property value. said Navarre in red, not a lesion. You're right. That's his room over there. Are you ready? Yes, I think so. Now, this needs to be convincing. And you'll need to get creative. Call me names, even hit me. Stick with it, no matter what I do. Velasco's a clever son of a bitch. If you waver, he'll notice. I don't know if I can pull this off. Come on. Haven't you ever wanted to slap me? Just a little? Absolutely. Yes. I wasn't asking you people. Face it, you set yourself up for that one. Whatever you do, just make sure he takes me to Castillon. I'll leave a trail for you to follow. Let's go. Might get a little crowded in there. I'll wait here. What the... Get back here, you... Skittish bitch. I hope you have a good reason for interrupting my private time. I have a present for Castillon. Present for... What? You should see the look on your face. This wasn't the plan. We were going to kill him. Shut up. Oh. I've waited a long time to do that. <laughs> I'd love to finish the job, but Castillon will never forgive me. Castillon will be pleased. He's been looking for Isabella for some time. A token of our appreciation. It's more than she is worth. Well, I hope Isabella leaves an obvious trail. Wait, what am I talking about? Isabella's never son. This belongs to Isabella.
Bella's leading me to the dock. Point the way.
Why don't we work something out? If you're good, I'll tell Castillon to go easy on you. <laughs> Contrary to popular belief, I do have standards. You're going to do whatever I want. I own you. You sure about that? You! I knew the bitch was up to something! Kill them! Velasco sent word to Castillon. He's on his way. Let's look around first. I want to know why he's in Kirkwall. It's done. So Castillon's looking to expand his slaving business. Why am I not surprised? These documents should go to the guard. We'll at least arrest his accomplices. And Velasco told me you were all tied up. A lovely present just waiting to be opened. I see he's paid for that little mistake. What a pretty smear he makes. Well played, Isabella. Crossed and double crossed. You want to talk? Maybe we should talk about these documents. Slavery in the free marches? They're not going to like that. Get to the point. Give me your ship and your word to leave me alone, and you can take these papers and go. Can you trust him? He trades people for money. Castillon's a businessman, and this is a business deal. He'll keep his end of the bargain. If you want the ship, can't we just kill him and take it? You don't just kill a man and take his ship. That's crude and amateurish. How will he tell everyone how I bested him if he's dead? Why can't you surprise me in a normal way? With flowers, maybe, or a cake? I see I wasn't the only one played today. Give me the documents, and you can have the ship. And you will never hear from me again. Swear it. I swear it on my mother's grave. Give me the documents. You've made your decision, Isabella. Do as you wish. The ship is yours. Let me say, my dear, that you would make a remarkable ally for any man able to tame you. 
Our business is hereby concluded. Forever. Be well, Isabella. He didn't deserve to walk free. He'll get what's coming to him someday. Doesn't need to be at my hand. How does it feel to have finally gotten the ship of your dreams? Better than three greased-up sailors. I really should haul anchor first thing tomorrow morning, but... I don't know. I've taken a shine to Kirkwall. And some of the people in it. I might stick around. Come on. You... you're here. Good. I... wanted to talk to you. Ah, you're still here. At least some things are constant in this ever-changing world. What? If you call me your rock or your foundation, I'm gonna hit you. Anyway, I'm glad you're here. Saves me the trouble of having to go look for you. I wanted to thank you for everything you've done for me. I'm glad you walked in here all those years ago. You've been a good friend. And a constant source of excitement. Oh, you do know how to flatter a girl. Now that I have my ship, I'll need a new crew. And I'd like to have someone like you on board. Someone I can really trust. Who has my back, no matter what happens. Exploring the world and getting away from all this? I'm game. It'll be you and me chasing that horizon. I can't think of any place I'd rather be. I... I I'm sorry. I don't know what's come over me. What's going through your mind? I think I... I think I'm falling for you. Just tell me, Hawk. If I have a chance with you. I've waited years for you. Thank you for waiting. It was worth it. If you need me for anything, by all means, let me know. 